everybody. We're here again talking with Albert Steenblick. And in this interview, we're going to talk a little bit about the history of Albert and his wife Alice and their uh, farming enterprise. They moved here from the, the Netherlands many years ago. And we just want to tell everybody a little bit about the story of them because I think it's quite interesting to hear how they uh, built this dairy up into what it is today. So Albert, thanks again for taking the time to talk to us. All right. So you started farming in the Netherlands, right? Yeah, that's where I was born and raised. We lived close to the castle, and mom and dad rented the farm from the baron and his family. And, okay. And so that's how we got brought up there. Dairy farm? Yeah, dairy farm. Then we had uh, chicken, uh, pullets, uh, okay. brood eggs were late, you know, and we did that. And then later on, we got rid of those, and we had some beef cows, about 100 cattle, you know, steers. And, uh, yeah, we built about 80 cows, 100 at, at the highest in the early 80s. Okay. Whereabouts uh, were you in the Netherlands? Eastern part, about 25 miles from the German border, right in the middle. Okay. Yeah. So okay. about straight east of Amsterdam, almost about 80 miles. Okay. And so then you decided to come to America. Yeah, we see the people, the, the whole family that owned the, the, the estate, there was about 40 little farms on there. Okay. And the, the, that family quit existing because their the, the brother and his, and his sisters never got married. Okay. So as, as to preserve the whole estate, it went to Nature Monuments. Oh. It's an organization that preserves nature. And okay. Things. So they, those are, yeah, you, you can call them whatever you want, but they, they're nature lovers, more yeah. than farm lovers. Yeah. Know? So. So you didn't farm it no more? Well, we, we, no, they couldn't, they couldn't get us out. I could have lived there today. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, literally, but, but that, so one day they were cutting a lot of trees down and I told the guy, I said, well, why are you guys doing it? And he said, they don't fit in that, in that whole scheme of the, the landscape there. Uh -huh. And I said, my God, you guys, you can just unbelievable what you guys dream up. I said, give me money, I'll get out of here. And a couple of weeks later, he came back and he said, remember what you said? And this is how the whole story started. Oh. Took him a year and a half to get all the subsidies and they, yeah. they bought us out. <clears throat> and we we moved in in uh, well we started looking in January and then we went all over the place a little bit. What year? In 94. 94. We 94. sold the cows on November third, ninety three, yeah. and then got everything else. But we still had some beef cow cattle there that okay. had to be finished. And, but everything else we just got rid of <clears throat> everything. And in, in August ninety four we moved to Michigan. Okay. Why did you choose <coughs> Michigan and Powell? I don't know. God only knows. Yeah. Uh, there was <clears throat> there was already a farmer here in, uh, from the Netherlands that everybody kind of knew. Okay. And I knew him not personally, but just off name because he was the most well known cow breeder, Klaus Hennepoek. Okay. And so we visited him, and he gave us the address of his, the name of his realtor. Yeah. So that's how, and they had a portfolio with five or six farms. Okay. So then we picked this one. This one suited our wallet pretty good. Because we didn't, we had some money, but not a whole lot. Yeah. So, so this <coughs> farm, who'd you buy it from? We bought this in uh, early May. We made a temporary uh, contract. And then my wife, we took, my wife wasn't even there. Elsa wasn't there. And so we came back and everybody came over and then. August 25th, we came here in September 1st, we started milking cows. This was a 100 cow dairy. Yeah. With 375 acres. 300, that's what you started with. Yeah. Wow. And then, yeah, and then you live the American dream and then 30 years later, you got something completely different. <laughs> but that's, that's the beauty of the United States. It's, yeah. You want to do something, you can do it. Yeah. That's great. And who, who owned this farm when you <clears> bought it? The Schaefer family? Schaefer family, okay. Two brothers, Ronnie and Delbert. Okay. Yeah, and then you know you meet other people, and little by little you, right away we went to about 300 cows, 350. And then, in, then we built another barn in 98, and we went to about 600. Then we built, we were sitting in this office here. We built that in 2000, with a double 25 in 2001. We started milking there in, in uh, January 8th, 2002, and then, <clears throat> and then yeah, then kind of, we, we kind of 
went along and and then the 14 we built in the other part of the rotary oh wow and then we uh yeah and this is what we we saw. And then we bought more land and more land and, and so this is this is what we're doing and yeah now we we we, we sold it and uh, to rest more dairy and we bought a house in the wood now and that's where Elsa and i live and kids are all out of the house of course and they didn't want to farm so all good things come to an end, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. And, uh, it's this way life goes. And yeah. I can do this, probably, I probably could have done this for another, I don't know, but I, no, this is good. It's time, nice. time to quit. Yeah. Time to be done, yeah. Yeah, if you have nobody to take it over, it's just, yeah. and, and the situation, and the, to pick the time, the way everything went the last couple of years, it was, it was a good time to, yeah. to get out. So what do you enjoy most about the years here dairy farming? Or what, what was the, the life, what do you love about the life or whatever? Well, like I said before, the American dream, if you, yeah. want, if you want to stick your neck out, you can do it. Yeah. And, 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 and no, there's not too many people that say, oh, you can do this or you can do that, or you gotta, you know, you, you can just do it. And that's, yeah. that's, like I tell everybody here, you know, my colleagues and farmers and said you guys you don't even know what the rules are yeah even compared when we left in 94 the rules we already had there yeah compared to to what it is a lot today. of restrictions huh but yeah. america can be tough too we had a hell of, yeah. we had a <clears throat> hell of a fight to become u.s citizen and and that wasn't so pretty either but yeah. how we won that we we, we got there and yeah we, but, yeah and uh but it's no it's it's this and and it's there's a room, a room here in the Netherlands. Everything's so packed, so full. Yeah. Here, you got space. Yeah. So. so, for those of you that may not have listened to the other video, we're going to have an auction for Albert on, on August 8th, selling the rest of his equipment. And, uh, Albert, what are you going to do in the future? Well, I got a bunch of beef cows yet in Kansas, and I got a hobby here, beef cows, uh, with the Wagyu and Piedmontese. Okay. So everybody that's interested, we got, we sell them by the quarter. Uh, All right. People that want to have a taste, we can do that a little different. But, <laughs> and that's my hobby. It's kind okay. Of, it's, see, that's that's the beauty of America. You know, in the Netherlands, you couldn't you couldn't even do that. Yeah. Without having to change this or that and that and talk to this person that person. Here, you just uh, you just do that. And that's yeah. that's that's the beauty of life. Yeah. And if you dream up something, you can, you can, you'll be able to do it. Wow. Yeah. Pretty neat. We're glad you kind of shared with us a little <laughs> bit about your life and the dream you had when you left the Netherlands and how it worked out. And I uh, can see you had a very, very successful farming operation. It's a beautiful operation. And uh, congratulations on that and your retirement. And I hope you and Alice enjoy your, your, your retirement together. Yeah, I think we're doing good. We go up north. To, you know, to the lake house and yeah, and then yeah, do this, do that. That's just still a lot of stuff. But it, I can already see it's getting a little boring already. I'm <laughs> not doing in the day to day <laughs> things, right? But it's other than that, it's no, it's good. No. It's all good. Yeah, it's, it's all good. All right. That's what the guy told me that bought the farm too. He said it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing your story with us. <clears throat> Appreciate yeah. it. You're welcome.